welcome. Everything that I share and say and do is for a reason. If this sounds like a contradiction, there isn't. Investigate further. So I'm going to be stepping even deeper into the mysteries now, in the nature of this world and spirit in us. Before I do, the other night I was trying to go to sleep and as I was drifting off, I saw these flashes of light go through my eyes and another light, this sense of this other light coming down and it was startling, I went straight into prayer. Now, after, after thinking about it, I, I feel that I received something and my, again, my depth perception, my awareness, spirit working upon my mind, I'm being shown things on a deeper level. So I just wanted to record that. As I said, I'm documenting everything. Now, before I get into this, it's paramount that you be open-minded and strong and think about the things that's being presented to you. Use your own spiritual discernment. Use your own spiritual discernment and pray about it, okay? So, over the years, I did have these periods of these symbols converging revealing a nuclear event right i'm going to keep this very basic and i look at the world as symbolic now is the meaning of this nuclear event symbolic of a end of an age and a transforming into another an opening of a door i believe it's very symbolic of past events that's happened or should we say the possibility of it happening but we've got to wake in we got to wake up to the truth that it's all an illusion it's a it's a screen all right we've got to distinguish between that which is false the reality that we've been in and that which is true that we call our home so listen to this man has a choice to make the power of god that will change their lives in ways they cannot imagine or the destructive nuclear power of man which leads to death and destruction you can leave one reality into another that is of life or continue deeper into shield whereby whereby nightmares become reality your reality from within your cubic reality we are each and every one of us heaven and earth within itself a cubic reality your reality is projected from within you from within your own consciousness or should i say from your own consciousness as we are the temple of god there will come there will come a time a point in your life where there is a reset about to happen or you are coming into being wakefulness all is of light Yet, if you are in darkness because of the misuse of your light, then you have no one to accuse but yourself. Remember, creation is complete. You can obtain knowledge and wisdom. Ooh. You can obtain you can you can obtain knowledge and wisdom whereby you can know and see a better reality from within yourself. Or you will believe the lie and go deeper into darkness. Now, let me share this with you. Why is the first earthly man, Adam, in prison? And we all start off as a default in this state, okay, as Cain in the land of Nod. And so it's revealed to us that we are in prison, in a womb, a matrix. And it is a very clever, orchestrated, quantum biological machine world all right a womb a simulated one it's not real it's a shadow century copy as revealed to us in the scripture now there is a reason because as a default we start off as the earthly man adam man the root word in the hebrew for man 
means sick. We start off as the supernatural demonic angel, the beast. That's man, 666. And he's red faced and he loves war and evils as revealed to us in scripture. That's how the evil comes into his cubic reality. That's how his screen, his presentation of the world is going to be is going to be his food, right? And this is done through social engineering, which creates his psychological makeup. And through the thoughts, thoughts accepted from the impulses of the cardinal reptilian mind, he will be steering his life into the depths of Sheol. Now, let me put this to you. Why would Sheol nuke itself when it feeds off fear and suffering? OK, now that's not to say that they, there isn't an event where that's happened. But again, we've got to learn of the nature of where we are and the wonderful faculties and gifts that's inherent with us, within us. Now, there's 144,000 out there. Wonderful individuals, peculiar people in Christ, as we mentioned in as mentioned in the Bible. And they have stopped a lot of events from occurring in their lives. OK. And so they're not fooled by the great deception. As we feel to us in the book of Revelation, the whole world is deceived. It's a great deception. There's nothing new under the sun. My mum mentions that when she was young, there was the threat of a nuclear an event back then. And we keep seeing the same threat, the same fear, perpetuating and gurgitating throughout the years. The only way you're going to get to the father and, and be birthed out the womb, the matrix, is through the sun being formed in us. Now, I've got something else to share with you now. So I'm going to reveal four basic symbols used by gatekeepers, should we say, OK, by the matrix itself. Just four. Right. For now, there's more, many more. But I'm going to use just four and going to break them down a little bit, give some insight into it, a basic insight for you. All right. And that is the dinosaur, the spaceman. Um, statues and famous landmarks all right always being gurgitated and perpetuated in your experience that props up a past and a future that creates the faraday cage that go, gets pulled over people's mind through social engineering which creates the psychological makeup so let's look at the dinosaur symbolism okay i'll give a basic insight into it for you because you'll see it at cern right you'll see people in certain positions with it etc it's in movies music videos the dinosaur is connected with the reptilian cardinal mind this is an orchestrated design matrix timeline in ready player one in the movie the the protagonist he gets in his car and he goes the opposite direction to everyone else and he goes under the world and he sees the t-rex dinosaur chewing the cars up now the mine can be symbolic as the cars and so you see the t-rex chewing up the cars because our history is and i'm going to be careful how i approach this and what to say the words to use is it is not real it's being designed, orchestrated, all right? It's an illusion. And so the, the representation of the dinosaur is the reptilian cardinal mind, the fake history, eating and tearing up the minds of man, all right? That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it very basic, all right? Mm. Again, connected with fear or a suggestion in propping up a history that keeps man asleep in the land of Nod. Then next is the spaceman if i can get this up bear with me now there's two layers to well there's a few layers to this okay again you see the spaceman all right if you pay attention throughout your daily activities you'll see a lot of the symbol symbols i'm sharing with you here 
constantly being propped up in your reality okay to remind you of the history the events the things that create this world and time age that we are in so the the spacesuit i know i'm not the body mind or concept it's a host body system as revealed in my videos okay so this body is refer referred to as a space suit traveling and conversing through time and space through the ages so there is that symbol and that meaning but it's clever because there's a half truth to it too because out of this symbol they've also erected a fake event in the past which also gives a suggestion of a future and makes something appear bigger than it actually is part of the illusion to make the individual small all right it's a psychological warfare a spiritual warfare in the host body system all right you would be shocked if you realize the um amount of gatekeepers demons in the host body system again as a default we all start off like this okay again nothing to fear and the words i'm using the terminology that there is root words to explain the archetypal energy or frequency of that presentation for example demon is disobedient disobedience okay it's sickness of the mind it's doing things the mind not the mind should not do out to, to do okay which leads to all sorts of profanities things that's going to stain your conscience it's going to diminish your light a bit all right but nonetheless you will see the spaceman being should we say uh, perpetuated and gurgitated in everyday pattern of life so you could go on social media or they mention it on the news or you go into a pub or pass a newspaper stand you'll see the spaceman suit all right again erecting the age the fake or, or orchestrated reality that you are in that's all i'm going to say i'm going to keep this really basic then we have the statues okay good state and perpetuating war all right a man is referred to as idol and so you, you could just go around your everyday uh, pattern of life and you will subconsciously be aware or should, no let me say that again subconsciously you are taking more in of your surrounding than you're aware of and so as you're going about your daily activities you there is these statues and auto suggestion symbols that are that are constantly keeping the faraday cage over the mind in place that's what i'm trying to say all right and there is so much more to this i'm just giving you a basic insight and this is why you see a lot of individuals on the world stage through social media or on mainstream they will keep referring to certain historical characters landmarks and events all right and again it keeps the faraday cage in place we also have famous landmarks now i mentioned about the pyramids with no covering stone which is another symbol within itself because this is how the first man starts out in this world naked no covering stone then we got the ouroboros all right then we got landmarks that affect the unconscious collective when there's certain events that occurs with these famous landmarks we also have the china wall all right again wall trump is associated with wall there is a wall a room that many are in and so as i said the world is a big screen i look at it it's very symbolic and when you really see it with your depth perception on a multi a multi-layered presentation of a orchestrated design reality things will shout out at you okay now let's move on so that's just a basic introduction there into a prop a
perpetuated, gurgitated age realm that you will find yourself in. And so what I'm doing here is introducing you to something that hopefully you can see beyond the looking glass, okay, whereby you're going to start erecting your own mansion that's going to usher you into your wonderful future, all right, by letting go of the nature of this world, which is made out of thought, mind, the old Egyptian axiom, all is mind. Okay, so I'm pause there. Hebrews 11, 3. Through faith, we understand that the worlds, that's plural, worlds, were formed by the word of God. Now, this word is in our heart and on our tongue, and you're going to eat the fruit thereof. OK, so be careful what you're hearing and what you're seeing and what you're saying. Turn it to gold. Come from the tree of life now. See it differently. Give life where there is death, a joy for ashes, etc. So that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. What's it saying here? Everything that we see in the world is first in the invisible, in mind, in thought, where it's eternal. Okay, and it's all complete and it's all there for you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to keep it basic. Romans 10, 8. But what does it say? The word is near you. OK, the word is near you because many are going to and fro seeking the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Now, this word is in your heart and on your tongue, as mentioned here. It is in your mouth. It is in your heart. That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim. And through experience and faith received through being chosen, called or adopted into the body of Christ, you will go through mystical experiences where you have your testimony, faith received. OK, that's what I'm going to say. John 1, 3. And I say that because, remember, I said that I didn't choose God, spirit. He chose me. Back in the year 2011, I had a mystical experience where Father was in my heart and he said, it's time, wake up. All right, that's what I'm going to say. John 1, 3. Through him, all things were made, and without him, nothing was made that has been made. Now, where is him? The son that's formed in, in us, which comes into maturity, known as Lord Jesus Christ. And there is a root to this through Jesse, from the, from the stump. We are the branches. The Lord Jesus Christ is divine. Once it comes into maturity, we become like the Father, for we are the temple of God and the Father resides in us. But we need the Son to be formed, come into maturity and the restoration of the Garden of Eden, as revealed to us in the Bible. He makes known the end from the beginning. What's the beginning? The Garden of Eden. Us cut down, off with the heads. But now it's being restored. The restoration. Romans 4. 17 as it is written i have made you a oh sorry i'm not going to go into this there's a line i want to share with you because this is the key precept upon precept line upon line here a little there a little it's a key to unlock the script to unlock the scripture working with spirit so this is what i want to share with you romans 4 17 so i'm going to miss a couple of lines here the God who gave life to the dead and calls into being what does not yet exist. So now we're turning within into where the kingdom of God, which is part of the imagination, the mind, your thought, word and deed. You're trying to thought now coming from the tree of life. We're going to see things differently. We're going to have hope and faith in a wonderful future because now we have our testimony. Now we have wisdom and knowledge. And so we say no to this presentation and yes to the new. Let me pause there. OK, I'm running out of time. I do apologise. First Corinthians 3, uh, sorry, 2, 7. Now, no, we speak of the mysteries and hidden wisdom of God, which he pre predestined for our glory before time began. Right. Isaiah 45, 11, thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel and his maker. Keep that in mind. 
Ask me of things to come concerning my sons and concerning the work of my hands. Command you me. So now here we're being revealed that we can command the spirit, the I amness of man, the conceived conception, the soul and source. Now Israel means to struggle, okay, to wrestle with. El is the name of God, which is connected to Elohim, God, and it's plural, the gods. Jesus said, you're all gods, all of you are children of the Most High. We also have the word maker being mentioned here. Remember our husband, the Lord, the maker, and you are the temple of God. Command thee me, all right? Command you me. So now we are turning within, and then the, when the Father sees us doing this, we get knowledge and wisdom, the God of Eden being restored and it's being pruned by the Father. You're going to be ushered into a wonderful new future and the new Zion, the new Jerusalem. OK, the temple being restored. Last one, Jude 1, eight. Likewise, also those filthy dreamers defile the flesh despite dominion and speak evil of dignities. Dominion. So in my next video, I'm going to talk a bit more about the dominion because the dominion, your dominion, have been taken away from you by the thieves and robbers from the external world and influences and gatekeepers. OK, it's time to get restored. OK, so I'm going to leave you there. Hope I said something that inspires you, something that shouts out. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tenjutsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Love you guys. Have a good day.